Hi everyone, Jamie Doherty here, and today I'm going to show you um, the new tea stains by Design Memory Craft. I'll go over all the general information about the, this awesome new product and show you a way to use it in your project. Here we have our new tea stain die. As you can see, we have two sets of dies. Each one comes with two of each color in these cute little tea bags. Now you can see there's three colors in each set. This one is green matcha, blue chai, and pink hibiscus. And these are formulated for the mixed media artist. Um, they're infused with real tea and dye. And as you can see in our second set, we have red rubius, blue oolong, and orange spice. Now I'm gonna show you a little bit about the actual tea dyes themselves. They come in these cute little tea bags. And you're going to go ahead and steep these. I went ahead and boiled this water so it was hot as hot as possible. I'm going to show you how you can apply the tea directly from the bag. This is my favorite technique. Look at how rich and um, bright and vibrant that color is. You can also take like a pipette and pull some of that color out directly from your water because that tea, of course, is going to dye your water as well. So you can see the kind of different effects you can get um, by using the tea stains. You can use it on fabric, you can use it on paper, you can use it on wood. Any type of porous surface is going to allow you to add dye to um, your project. Now I'm also going to show you a little um, trick <laughs> that I found using the paper. And I went ahead and I took some of the extra powder from the tea bags and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of that powder, I'm going to spritz my paper, and I'm going to just lightly dust that extra powder on my paper. Oh, look at, look at how awesome that is. So you actually get, you know, more than just your tea bags. You can use the excess in the bottom of the bag. So here's just a couple examples of what you could do with these tea bags. Now there's one other thing I'm going to show you with some fabric. I have this fabric, it has a resist on it. Um, as you can see, it has that cool pattern on it. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and dye, dip my fabric in the dye. Now the longer it sits, the more vibrant it's going to be. And the longer that your tea bag sits in the water, the more vibrant it's going to be. So keep that in mind. But I wanna just show you how you can tint your fabrics to match your mixed media projects. I'm gonna go ahead and just add some direct, and you can see the resist still um, shows through that dye because it is a dye based. It's not going to pigment that resist. Now I do warn you, go ahead and use gloves if you don't like that messy look, but take a look at some of the examples you can achieve by using them in your mixed media art journals.